Welcome to part two of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Uh, I'm going to shut my mouth. Uh, oh, pardon me, so you can guys continue to watch what's going on here. I'm kind of glad I'm wearing a face balaclava because it's um the, the lip syncing is horrible. I don't know if I could watch it all the time. Maybe you just want to tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman. Just like division agents. I realise I've, I've put the eye patch on. I really hope my character is not sort of. I hope he doesn't aim with his left eye. But let me <sighs> tell you right now. No matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for else when you. This is boring so far. <laughs> I don't mind the odd helicopter riding. I mean, if they're showing this is the whole country that is going, it's pretty fucking big, which is, you know, that that is exciting. But the helicopter ride itself is boring. I want to get into the gameplay and play this. Might be because I'm really excited for the game. Um, but this is just my view so far. Uh, and this is only the beta, so if you know, if it, hope if in the full game I can skip this helicopter ride, it would be good. I'm not a fan of like cutscenes which drag on sort of this long. We'll meet their leader, Pakatari, soon as we touch down. The Libyans have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Sorry if I interrupted with anything they were saying and you guys didn't hear it. It is honestly just saying you're going to meet up one of the enemy's enemies, basically. Graphically wise, I'm not sure what to think about it so far. E3 was shown off to be pretty beautiful and this seems like it's had another downgrade. I don't know why Ubisoft do this to us with the downgrades. Just show us the actual graphics it would be, honestly. Because I've got to be honest with you, the graphics aren't that bad apart from the floor textures are a bit shitty. Um, but the graphics aren't that bad, you know, I don't really play games for graphics. So, as long as this gameplay is fun. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Oh, so we can are skip this. With the word Huber, Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance. I won't skip this so you guys can see what's going on. I'll sort of shut my mouth now. To destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Qataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there's a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sap phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaro is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Here we go, well, it looks like I'm actually going to be able to get into some gameplay and I think it's nearly end of part two of this video so I will make a annunciation saying that part three is the most of the gameplay or part two is the beginning of the gameplay so stay straight in yep aim shoot yep turning seems to be a little bit clunky 
it could yeah, use a bit of smoothing. It's a bit laggy. Um, graphically wise, actually, now we're in the sunlight, it looks a lot better than what it was in that cutscene. It seems that, I don't know if there was a graphical error during the cutscene, but this seems a lot better. But still not up to par to what they were showing. Uh, we're not going to join a public session because I want to record at my own pace at the moment. So I'm going to drive this 4x4. Well, can I actually just be a passenger? No, I have to drive. Okay. Hang on, I'll drive. So I'm going to give you guys a um, thing of a tutorial of sort of how it feels like driving. Oh. It's... Clunky. <laughs> I didn't really expect much um, for the driving from a Ubisoft game because I didn't really... You don't really get Ubisoft games for driving unless you bought the crew which still wasn't really good for driving but I bought it for the action and the open worldness so you know I can forgive it at certain points let's just hope the action is good you know I just I just hope that this clunkiness is going to be someone's going to be patched it just needs to be a bit more smoother because when I turn it feels like I'm turning a block in Minecraft it feels like I've you know you said it feels like, it feels like you're driving a brick and when you do it, when you're doing a turn, it's doing too sharp. So you're going like that, and it's just, yeah, it, it's driving too sharply. And the weirdest thing is how slow this car is going. This world is beautiful. There is, is there, there's a hang glider, or is that a plane going over there? Just at the top up there. I'm trying to drive and focus in on it at the same time. Oh, wrong button. I really hope this is not the full extent of the speed of these cars. Oh, so there are other cars around the world too, okay. I don't know if they're just enemy cars or... Okay, there's a few more different cars there, so we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can grab a different car and hopefully that'll be a bit faster than what this car is doing because this is terrible for speed, so... Oh god, reversing is faster! You can reverse faster than you can drive in that car. That was... That was scary. So what happened if I get in this? Did someone just get hit by a, hit by a car? This... Okay, this is faster. This certainly, well, it certainly feels faster. It's got damage in the... I don't remember hitting anything. This is going to be a long drive. Um, skip forward if you so wish to because I don't blame you if you do because this is going to be a very long drive by the looks of it but the if you just want to see sort of like the graphics and stuff it's actually really beautiful um, now I'm not going for best graphics in the world I'm, I'm not gonna say it's got the best graphics in the world it hasn't um, but it is still beautiful so something doesn't have to be high graphic to be beautiful it just the way the way everything is done the way the foliage is done I think it's really nice and yeah, it, it, it feels good. I just wish the cars were a lot faster. I don't know if, there's, if, if it has to be an ability to upgrade, which is going to fucking suck if it really is. I mean, it, I mean, if it is an ability or something like that, they need to have it early on in game. You, you can't continue going around the whole world in just this fucking car. Um, because this is slow. I don't, I don't know, is it, is it something to do with gears? Is there gears or something? Let's try pressing some buttons. What is that doing? What is that doing? Did I do anything? No? Okay, that's just brake. Okay. There is literally, there is no way to speed this car up. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I just hope this isn't a fucking tour commission at the end of it. Okay, there's another car there. Let's try swapping the cars out again. As you can see, how fast it is we're reversing out of a car compared to actually driving. Maybe I should reverse there. Go ahead for that. Hold on. Are they gonna get in the car and follow me or Well, see you guys. For some reason, the AI is too stupid to get in a car behind you and, you know, get in it and follow you. I would have expected that to be something sort of a basic part of the game, but a texture popping just down the right-hand side. 
So we can't go up here anyway. So hopefully they'll have a decent sense of coming out over here. Or will they teleport? Oh, they teleported. Yep. At least at least they didn't have to run all the way over here. Um, tutorial. Okay, so take time to mark enemies and their defenses. Press up to use the drone and down to use binoculars. So we're gonna have a let's have a look at the drone. I think everyone wants to have a look at the drone. Okay, I'm gonna go up. The drone controls are surprisingly very, very smooth. Oh, I don't know if that's because I'm going. Oh, yeah, there's a range you've got to be in. So we've got a guy over there. I mean, by the time we get over there anyway, we're probably going to, like, the other guys will see us anyway. So we're going to get out of the drone. What happens to the drone now? And does it just disappear? Yeah. Okay, stealth tutorial. Press triangle, triangle to use your handgun. Crouch with circle for stealthy approach. Detection arrows indicate who is spotting you. So basic basic stealth so that felt kind of good killing someone <laughs> it feels good um that's a good thing it's been a while since you know having to kill things bullet spongely so you can pick up their weapons that's good okay so he didn't see us So his friend's just died on the thing there, and he hasn't noticed that his friend has died. Down. So we're still silent. It was quite hard to try and get a headshot on. Will the animals give away our position? Can we kill the animals? Uh, let's have a look. They explode. Chickens explode in feathers. I like that. <laughs> so what's this stuff? Is it fuel or tag supplies? It feels that feels like um sort of Metal, Metal Gear Solid in that sort of way. I'm really enjoying this. Um, this is quite fun. Unfortunately, because the boring driving so far in the cutscenes. Um, but so far this. The, the, when, it gets, when it gets down to gameplay, it's a fun game. Oh, uh, power for the buddies. Right, we'll use the drone again, see if we can see anyone. Oh, oh, that, so I can do commands up here. How do I go up again? So we've got another guy over here. Oh, so we've got more, more of the place. There is a lot more of the place. So I'm gonna stay up. So we don't we don't want anyone to um, we don't want anyone to see, actually see us. Um, because I don't know if 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 the drone will give away sort of our position or that we're here or they'll go mad over the drone. So the drone's running out of battery. So we must just go back into this. So there are commands and stuff. A version more okay this is it looks like there's a lot of exciting options coming up so he's down um, got some more supplies here by the looks of it medical supplies we'll have them give us them we will have them yummy things yum 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 so I don't, are we supposed to kill him interrogate that just tag the food We're sneaking up on the guy oh god so we still notice let's interrogate this motherfucker you answer my questions. Why put a bullet in your gut and Please don't do a massive free where it's becomes repetitive. Do you get to choose the questions? Where can I find them? No. You serious? 
I wish I wish the interrogation was a bit more interactive. That would really make it a lot more fun. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you 